and gentlemen, welcome back to another Plutonium Guy Plays video. Today, I am here in Roblox Bed Wars, and I'm going to show you guys some different things that you didn't know about Bed Wars. The first one is that, at least on this map, don't know about the other maps, but if you stand here and perfectly place a telepearl, you will go right through the house and end up on the other side. So, that's a great strategy if you want to get behind your enemies. Of course, it does lead to somewhat glitchiness, but, you know, if you just pop another one, it usually rectifies it. So, yeah, that's the first thing. You've got the high ground, and you are golden to go. See, just like this, if I wanted to just knock him right off the edge, boom, just like that, I will. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a great way to do that. All you gotta do is you just throw a teleport right over that. And see, he's got the Tesla coils, but guess what he doesn't have? He doesn't have a bed anymore, because guess what? I'm such an OP gamer, guys. Such an OP gamer that I can do things like that. Oh, boy! Wait, I died. Okay, cool. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first thing you did not know about Bed Wars. Here we are back with the second tip, and that is that sometimes when you have a fortress like this, you know, you're defending your base just like this, firing the cannons off, just boom, shakalaka, just like that, right at the enemies, which are utterly attacking your base that you missed. But you accidentally misstep, and you go onto your cannons, and you accidentally take damage. Now, why do you take damage from cannons? The answer is... There isn't an answer, but you can die to a cannon in Bed Wars. There's absolutely no rhyme or reason to this. And you can damage both yourself and enemies with a cannon. The enemies don't happen as often, but like, literally, I go to stand on my cannon, and I just take like 50 solid damage. It does 10 damage per like half second, guys, to stand on a cannon. Like, someone explained this to me, I don't understand. If you knew this... That's amazing. How did you figure that out? And if you didn't know this, you gotta subscribe. Subscribe because ugh, I messed up saying subscribe. You've gotta subscribe because I mean, you learned something today, so you have to subscribe. Anyway, we're gonna do three more tips. I hope you guys are sticking with it because these things they only get crazier from here, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yet another thing you did not know about Bed Wars is that, as we all know, a Tesla coil does four damage. But if you are Infernal Shielder and you use your shield, it only does two. So, that's a nice thing to know if you're ever trying to break a bed, and your partner's getting absolutely tested coiled. It's just, hit him up with the Infernal Shield, and it will do wonders for you and them, guys. I would totally recommend using this kit if it's free. I wouldn't spend Robux on it personally, but if you got some extras, why not? Go ahead. Whatever you want. But it is super helpful, because it, I mean, it, it takes twice as long to kill you if you use the shield. So, yeah. I would totally recommend using a shield when around Tesla coils, guys. Be sure to stick around for the rest, because it is a fascinating rest. Alright guys, yet another thing you did not know about Bed Wars is that the fact that no matter what kind of armor you have, a Tesla coil does the same amount of damage. So you guys saw, it's doing 4 damage every time it hits me. But then I'm gonna go buy some diamond armor real quick, and you're gonna see, even after I do this, it's gonna do exactly 4 damage. One. Four, two, four, 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 four. I'm not sure why I said one and two there, but it just, it does four damage no matter what, guys. Like, it's inexplicable and also makes no sense. Like, why would it not change? Like, you'd think iron armor, it would do more damage because it, it conducts electricity, or wood armor does less because it's got, I, I don't, it doesn't make sense, guys, but there's no logic to it. It just does four damage no matter what you do, guys. Be sure to stick around for the other tips because they are cool. Bye, 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 guys. <laughs> Be sure to stick around for the tips. Alright guys, it is time for the final thing you did not know about Roblox Bed Wars, and that is, as you can see, I can scroll in and out just fine, however much I want, but if I look at a cannon, I can't scroll in and out at all. I am scrolling out in and out, I promise guys, like, I can't, there's no way for me to show you, but I am scrolling in and out, like, I will look to the side and as soon as it comes off the cannon, it will scroll, like, literally, as soon as it came off the main part of the cannon, it scrolled, so you guys, you guys can tell, like, you can't scroll on a cannon, it is crazy guys, anyway, that's, that's, that's the things you didn't know about Bed Wars. Alright guys, since you stayed to the end of the video, you guys get a weird thing that happened while we were in the middle of recording. I discovered I can't hit Jake with the baguette. It does absolutely nothing. So, yeah, if you stayed to the end, um, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, remember to subscribe.